Cheers, Berry Views. Paul Laner's uh, Natural Wheat Hefeweizen. Okay, I picked this up at uh, one only Dan Murphy's. It was reduced. Um, goes out of date this month, but at 5.5% uh, at ABV. Um, and being a Hefeweizen, I reckon it should be pretty good. Now, actually I've had a few of these. I've got a six pack that was reduced because I actually grabbed a, um, a carton of the uh, Matilda Bay Redback. It's a crystal wizen. Uh, look at that very soon, it will be reviewed. So um, in the coming days, I'm hoping maybe Thursday I might have a chance to review that one. Okay, got me uh, once to find a wheat glass. Let's pour it in. This is a 330ml bottle. Like I said, it's 5.5%, but you wouldn't know it. The, um, it's uh, typical of this style. Highly drinkable. Okay, so also what we're having with this today is the Pringles, uh, the extra uh, kicking jalapeno cheese. Okay, these um, are very easy to uh, devour, as I found last night, I just kept munching on uh, but we'll get to that after I have a um, look at this uh, appearance, typical hazy orange appearance. Um, you've got you know, heaps of head, that's typical of these wheats, hefeweizens. Um, it's very, uh, very, very um, creamy looking head. Anyway, the aroma. Uh, now I find you get a real nice uh, sweet, malt, sweet malt and bread aroma with this. Um, more say than the, um, I'll talk about that when I review it, but um, the Matilda Bay, which is a crystal wise, of course, filled it, so of course it's a bit less on the aroma, but they've got a beautiful smell. Uh, maybe, oh, I just get that, you know, a bit of banana. But um, yeah, nice, uh, or doughy as well, I suppose. So um, let's uh, let's get into this and give it a try. A big cheers and uh, new cheers to the location of different residents. So you're going to see some different sites in the upcoming Jez Beer Reviews. Um, I'll be doing beer reviews, uh, especially come summertime. I'll be able to get outside a bit more in the afternoons after work. And we'll try to ramp up these beer reviews a bit, get a bit more consistent. So cheers, let's get into it. Uh, it's a beautiful, such a light, uh, light to a wheat body. Uh, a nice, so bready, really bready, uh, sweetness. Uh, not real lot of business for the style. Um, doughy. Uh, but that, it's different than those uh, Frankenstein or Frankenstein, or he pronounced it, though. They're really, uh, it's a little bit um, less. And that banana note's not really as much in this one. But it is uh, a little bit a little bit tartness to it as well. Combination's pretty good. It's typical, uh, typical for a wheat. Um, it's just an all-round uh, good beer. Now being winter here. <clears throat> it's more, I always see weeks as the summer. I know Swill, uh, Swill and Grog, um, season's winter. But I um, I like these ones really, really hot. But, you know, it's so drinkable, you, you just knock them back. I mean, it's such a, uh, a light kind of beer. It's not really, um, it doesn't bloat you. I found you can kind of down really easy, easy drink. So, um, the Paul Lena's looking pretty good. And we're going to pair it. I uh, just pair it with these once again the uh, the Pringle extra kick and jalapeno cheese and um, if you haven't tried them I recommend and uh, to me mate Swillengrog who started um, he started doing um, like uh, different uh, different snacks like uh, potato chips and other stuff from other countries uh, with different soft drinks from all over the world so uh, be sure to check out that and. Um, yeah, Swill, if you get a chance, I reckon you should try these because I know you like spice and I know you like cheese. So let's have a try. That's what it looks like. Typical of a Pringle. For a second there, uh, it kind of reminds me of like a buffalo, uh, the saucy buffalo wings cheese and Frank's uh, hot sauce.
really nice cheese and you really want to go back some more. Um, I find that after the first couple, you're like, oh, that's a bit warm, but it, it very much mellows it. Taste buds adapt. Mm. Yeah, so. <clears throat> it's got a sweet, a sweetness too. So the Pringles extra kicking jalapeno cheese. Be sure to check it out before they sell out. Yeah, it's pretty good with this. These wheats go up pretty much anything. Um, so light, like, refreshing. You feel like going out and cutting some bloody, cut some wheat the old way. And you just have to cut the wheat yourself. The grain. Yeah, it's just uh, makes you want to get and do some yard work and sweat and come back and demolish this delicious beer. So anyway, enough going on. Paulina Hefeweizen. It's a really good little drinker. From the land of Germany, and I think it's about the third or fourth one. Oh, that's the fourth pull, and I'm pretty sure I reviewed. Um, yeah, you can get this at Dan Murphy's, and if you like the Hefeweizen, um, and you like the Hefeweizen just in between, say, Matilda Bay, uh, Red Bat, and the Frank Designer Wheat Beer, um, I'd try this. It's just in, in between there, uh, taste wise, it's not so much pronounced on the, those uh, banana clove flavours, or that. you know, it's a little bit. Um, a little bit less flavour, but very drinkable and very refreshing. A minus for me for this beer. So thanks for watching this episode of Jersey Reviews. Till next time, I'll uh, catch you all later. Bye.